Hello everyone and welcome back to Cat Hills and we are here with Dusty who's still looking very much like a pirate after having finally beat the island mine and this is a little bit of a special episode because it is actually our last episode with Dusty and I know that's hard to believe because we've had nearly 130 episodes with him. That's more than a full day's worth of Cat Hills and it's going to be hard to bid him farewell. He's had such an incredible journey, but unfortunately it has drawn to a close. Now, this is by no means the end of his legacy. Dusty's legacy will continue even after his own story ends with his retirement because his kittens here are going to have a very special role. Now, if you guys didn't know this, the colony update is actually going to be coming out tomorrow. That will be Friday. And it's going to give us the ability to create a custom colony. So instead of having to belong to one of these three, we're actually going to be able to create our own. And that is a task that's going to fall to Dusty's kittens. And we'll see their stories continue as... Um, as we go on in that update. So Dusty's legacy will live on, but as for him and Scout, they're both getting a little bit older and it's time for them to reach a well-deserved retirement. Uh, speaking of Scout, let's go ahead and bring her a rabbit and we'll let them share a meal together. Now, I do have something a little bit special planned for Dusty's last episode here. Let's go ahead and we'll bring this to Scout and we'll chat as well. I love you, Dusty. Do you want my extra field mouse? I don't need it. Here, it's yours now. Well, thank you, Scout. We'll, we'll definitely take that. And let's chat with the kittens as well. Great to see you. It's not a bad day for visiting friends. No, it's not. It's actually a pretty nice autumn day. You always inspire me, Dusty. Colder weather means more time indoors. More time indoors means more time for thinking. That is true. That's a really good way of looking at things. And Autumn, want to chat for a while, Dusty? Are you up for a quick scouting trip? I can use some exercise. Sure, you can come along. I don't know that... Well, we'll have to see if Overcast wants to come too, because maybe we'll trade out with them. I never told you when I was younger, but I used to sneak out quite a lot. I figure you probably found out at some point or another, but I wanted to let you know just to get it off my chest. Oh my goodness. I can see her doing that really well. But we'll go ahead and have Autumn come with us because she did want to. And there's actually something that we're going to be doing. So I went and looked up a list of the power paws because, as you can see, we're at 190 health. And that means there's two power paws that are still left to find. And I have never been sure where exactly they are. So I went and looked up a list. And we have indeed found all but two of them. But there's two more. And if we look on the map, I'm going to try and see where they are. So there's one... Not here. Not here. Where would it be? Somewhere around here. Um, wetland outskirts. So right below the weeping brute, supposedly there is a power paw, and the other one is at not there. Nope. Nope. We probably should go fight in that battle though. Where would it be? Um, it's at a place. Oh, Riverbend, right there. So up by Mountain Domain. So we're actually going to head out there, and I think what I'll do is I'll put in our... Oh my gosh, we have so much experience. <laughs> I'll put in our Temple Warp. There we go. And we'll equip that, and then we'll use that to get out there. So let's head out into the world, and we'll use that kit to get to the temple, and that'll enable us to get there more quickly. And it's already 7 p.m. It's pretty late because... Um, we spent a long time actually off mining, and so we'll probably stay out kind of late here and possibly stay through the night as we try and uh, find these last power paws because that's pretty much the last thing that has gone uncompleted here in Dusty's story. Don't worry about Autumn, she'll catch up. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much the only thing that we have yet to do is find all the power paws. And we, we have a... Uh, we still have just those two, and so once we get down there, then uh, we'll have completed pretty much everything the game has to offer at this point. We'll have completed the main quest, we'll have completed all three mines, we'll have... we've maxed all the skills that we have. Well, there might, there might actually be a few more that you can buy elsewhere, but, uh, oops, out of all the ones that we have, we've maxed out those skills. And once we get down to this, uh... Uh, this area here, then we'll have uh, maxed out, we'll have done pretty much everything the game has to offer. So supposedly there's a stump 
I see a stump there, but I'm guessing it's gonna look a little different because these stumps are, are everywhere. Oh, look at you can see the power paw symbol on it. And there is a power paw here. Okay. Oh, and we got some Valerian. That's good. Okay, so there are two more. So we're now up to 195. And we should be able to head up this way and um and see what we can find up here. And uh, I'm not too concerned about money or anything right on this account because we actually won't be using this. We're seven years in on this, but we'll actually be starting a new um, a new profile with the kittens. And so you'll get to see that come into action once we, we start playing the update tomorrow. And I do plan on playing it as soon as it comes out, pretty much. Um, let's warp back to... Oh, we can't actually warp. Okay, we'll keep, we'll keep moving then and just go as fast as we can and see if we can still fight in the battle because it'd be good to to keep working on the territory. But yeah, so the Forest Guardian, it will actually, we'll go visit her before the end and I guess that'll kind of be, we'll, we'll talk with her and see what she says and that could kind of be her formally, um, formally leading Dusty to his retirement because he's getting to be a pretty old cat. Like I said, we're seven years in and if you imagine that he was already a year or two old by the time that he came to this place to begin with, then he's a pretty old cat. And so he's definitely, he's getting older and he's, it's time for him to retire. He, he's done so well for so, for so long, but he is getting older and it's just time for his story to naturally draw to a close. And so we will be seeing that, but let's actually go visit the forest guardian here or, you know, we'll make that the last thing we do because that will end off his story in a very beautiful way. And it'll be, it'll be a good way to bid him farewell. Oh my gosh, it's really foggy. And uh, I didn't know it was going to be that foggy. It's also raining, too. Um, but yeah, we'll head up here. And where is it? It's two squares up from here, so we should be okay. Just got to make it through the outskirts. And there should be another stump once we get up here. Do we see it? It's not that one, because that one, I don't think. Yeah, no, that one doesn't have it, but this one does. Okay. And there we go. So we now have, yeah, okay, we got uh, the Collector of Ancient Treasures achievement, and we have maximum health. So at this point, we've completed pretty much everything there is to do in the game. And that's about a sign that it, it's going to be time for Dusty to retire. And um, I think, I feel like he's the sort who would have to be really everyone would have to go dusty seriously it's time <laughs> because he he's not going to give up that easily and um but his kittens have proved him, themselves very very capable and so he he's leaving he's leaving this in very competent paws okay autumn test of test of hunting skills go for it yes nice job autumn <laughs> so yeah like i said they're very competent they know what they're doing and I don't think he, I think he can rest assured and not have worries about leaving the situation in the colony in their, their paws. Now, like I said, a lot of them are going to be heading out and it, we'll see how the stories end up working out as we actually get into the colony. One thing that we're probably, what'll probably end up happening is we'll have one who's going to be the main and then the other will take various roles in the colony because I've, I've been avoiding spoilers. But from what I understand, you can assign, like, th there will be different cats with different roles, and you can assign uh, those roles to them in the in the colonies. And um, so, like, we could have, we might play as one cat, we might have another be the colony doctor, we might have another, what's another position, somebody else might be the shopkeeper, and we'll have to see how it all works out. Um, but that's probably what's, uh, what's going to end up happening. And so you'll get to see all of them on a regular basis, but we may not always play as all of them. And as time goes on, maybe we'll start different, uh, maybe we'll start different save files with them as well and, and play as each of them, but they'll all sure have their own story. That's for certain. So we'll be, we'll be leaving the legacy to them. Let's gather up some of this Valerian. You want to get any more? Okay, there we go. There's still, still another one there, and she got that too. Oh, we should eat. We should eat, and um, I'll eat some of these berries. So let's see here. But yeah, it's it's hard to believe. We we've, we've been running Dusty's Tail pretty much at least weekly 
since, gosh, we started playing in the summer, and towards, I think it was, it was July, wasn't it? Because I started playing right before I, I had my vacation and then did my face reveal. It was June into July, I think the end of June into July, I'm pretty sure, and so that's been about eight months now. <laughs> it's been a very long time, and it's continued seven or eight months. It's It's been more than half a year, that's for sure. Um, it's been such an incredible journey. We have well over a hundred episodes, and it's been such an amazing journey, and I'm so thankful I've gotten to share it with you guys because it's really, it's been so incredible. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, okay, let's make sure we fight in these battles too. I'm just grateful that uh, that you guys have been here to to go on this, this quest with me, to, to follow Dusty's story with me, and that a lot of you guys have gotten as excited for it as you have because you guys have all grown to love cattails so much. And I, I see you guys still getting very excited when, when, we, when we, we play cattails. And a lot of you guys just really love it. And uh, I love it too. And I'm very excited to see how the game is continuing to grow and develop. Let's not go quite that way. Uh, we'll also go ahead and fight near Mystic Colony here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited to see what the future is going to bring. And don't worry too, we will be continuing with Larkin and Oberon. I, I've gotten several questions about that. Um, but we will be continuing with Larkin and Oberon. I've just put their stories on a bit of a temporary hold for now because we've been trying to finish up everything with Dusty's Tale so that we have a jumping off point for the new update. As things settle down and we get a little bit more used to the new update and um, and we, we kind of... Because what we usually do is we'll do daily as we're exploring new content. And because that we'll do daily with uh, with the new the new colony for a while... But once that starts to settle down, once there's not as much new content right off the bat, then we'll end up, uh, what, what we'll do is we'll, we'll start alternating off with, uh, with Larkin and Oberon again. So we will be continuing their stories. They're not going to get left behind. I've just been uh, trying to wrap up Dusty's tale here because uh, his is going to be the jumping off point for the new custom colony. And don't worry, you guys, we're not going through the whole Forest Guardian quest again with the kittens, at least not on camera. I'm getting that done ahead of time, and so we'll already be done with that and ready to create the custom colony by the time we get to that point um, when, we'll, when we'll be doing that tomorrow. So don't worry, you guys. It's not going to be like, oh, we have to go through the whole quest again. No, we're, we're going to be able to jump right in and start exploring the new features, and I won't make you guys wait on that. Now, it's not quite time. We'll we'll let him we'll let him go exploring for one last day. Mm -hmm. And maybe what we'll do is we've got quite a lot of lavender. We'll head out and see mm -hmm. if we can just once again claim up this uh the whole the whole land here and uh claim as much of it as we can and uh, get mm -hmm. uh see if we can get it completely up to full one more time. <laughs> um but then after that, we'll go ahead and wrap up and come down to see the forest guardian here and uh, she can give Dusty his formal retirement and enable him to pass on the torch to his kittens because it's been a long time, it's been a long season and I think he's earned his rest. <laughs> um, and one thing is some of you guys have suggested that we could actually make Dusty and Scout, which would be kind of interesting because then we'd have two Scouts, but we could, we, that we could possibly make them as cats in the custom colony. I'm not 100% sure if we'll do that or not. I want to see how the mechanics actually work, but we may end up doing that if we end up having extra, extra cats around um, and extra non-marriageable NPCs. We may end up doing that to, uh, mm -hmm. to kind of give them a fitting, uh, like, just say that they came with their kittens and settled down, perhaps. Um, or there's another option that uh, I'm not going to reveal just yet, but as we get further into the story, and uh, as I reveal some more details about that, you guys will come to understand what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about here. So let's go ahead and we'll claim up this area, I think. Yep, that claimed it. We could buy some more lavender from Delta if we need to but I don't think we need to just yet. Lone Sentinel could use a piece of lavender. Well, okay, actually we might need some more lavender. <laughs> um, let's see, yeah, I think we're probably gonna need some more actually. Let's make our way up this way. And over here, Highland Northeast. 
Um, this is where we would need to claim some more. We may not get it completely claimed. Yeah, we're probably not going to. But uh, I, I think this is just Dusty making sure that everything's nice and ready to go. And uh, that he's not... Um, He's not leaving any unfinished business here. Uh, he's getting the colony as set up as he possibly, or he's he's leaving the colony so that they'll be in a good place once he steps down. So he's making sure all is going well. And let's head down here and we'll just see what we can find. Okay, uh, I think, well, we do have that one place that could use a little bit more, um, that could use a little bit more claiming. We'll eat some of these berries and make sure we're full on that. Autumn is gonna grab this Valerian. And there's a black rabbit. Oh, it's already running though. <laughs> and there's more berries. She wants to go ahead and grab those. And I think if we head down this way, I don't think we're gonna be able to fully claim it, but I don't wanna cut this last episode short. It's kinda of just nice to to take some time to spend with Dusty and to give him a nice fitting send off so that it's it's not short and we're not rushing through it. And to just take some time to to let him enjoy his last days as um as an official scout and an official warrior before he gets to settle down and, and just be the elder who oh we're under attack <laughs> um nice eye but yeah before he gets to settle down and, and just rest for the remainder of his days um this is his last official scouting trip so we'll head back up and all i will claim that one place and then we'll warp down to mystic i think all right the lone sentinel it's actually over and then up from here and we'll go ahead and claim that and then we'll head down to Mystic and see if we can find any more Lavender. I should have grabbed my Diplomacy skill, but I didn't. <laughs> and that would have helped a little bit. But we'll head back down this way and uh, and just see. If you guys have names for the new colony, too, because I believe you can name them. Um, and I don't know if that's like an official thing right at the start or not, or if it's kind of just what you end up calling them over time. Um, or if you can change that name. If you guys have name suggestions, definitely feel free to submit them. I don't know if I'll use them or not. I do have an idea in mind right now, but I am open to you guys' suggestions as well. So definitely, uh, definitely let me know if you guys have ideas on what you think we should name our new colony once the, the kittens branch off and, uh, and form their own group. So we'll head down this way and we'll see. Um... All right, we should be here. All right. And I think, okay, I think we can continue claiming around here um, and just see if we can claim a little bit more. We're not gonna get that much though. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to claim the whole thing. And I think it probably is about time for Dusty to head to the temple. So we'll do that, we'll warp up and Autumn will get to have the honor of being there and actually meeting the forest guardian. Um, and she'll get to have that honor as we, uh, as we bid farewell. So let's talk to Coco real fast, too. I think Coco helps you, or supposedly, from what I've heard. Thank you so much for your help, Dusty. Well, <laughs> we're glad to be able to offer it, and I'm glad things turned out all right. And let's talk to the Forest Guardian here. You have done a great service to the wilds, Dusty. I thank you for your patience and perseverance. One day you will become a great leader. And uh, I, I kind of take that, I mean, you know, that's just the generic dialogue, but I take that as her saying that, hey, your job here is done and uh, you can go home and you're st kind of, the, she's kind of, she's passing it on to him and then from him he'll pass the torch to his, uh, to his kittens here and it will become their turn to lead and their story. So with that in mind, we're gonna head back. We'll, we'll walk the full way, we won't go warping around. We'll just walk this route back from the temple that we've walked so many times before. And, oh, Autumn is bringing us Golden Seal, but we'll walk this path one final time. And here we go. Uh, we'll follow the stones. We've been here so many times, it's such a familiar path. And it, honestly, I must say, it does feel very surreal because this is the last time we were gonna do this with Dusty. And uh, it's it's gonna be hard to say farewell for sure, um, and to say goodbye. Oh, Autumn has brought us something here. All right, and here we go. We'll make our way back. And I 
think is this the colony this is the colony so let's bid farewell to her. well we'll kind of we'll, we'll bid farewell but at the same time it's kind of just like say that kind of talking to them and them kind of kind of kind of announcing his retirement and interacting with that how's my bestest friend doing today what can i do for you dusty is that you dusty hard to see anything in this fog stay safe out there yeah we will definitely be careful though we're not gonna be going out that much more here great to see you dusty you always lift my spirits you know dusty i wasn't always called mayor that's a word I stole from the humans, of course. They call people who have authority mayors. When I was younger, I traveled far and met many cats, Dusty. Some of the finest came from a human town. I knew from that moment on that we could do with a good mayor around here. So I feel like that's kind of him passing down advice to Dusty as he enters this new stage of life. Good to see you, Dusty. Here to chat for a bit? I've got time for you. I sure am glad cats like Ember exist. Don't know what I'd do without the readily available supply of herbs for sale over there. You make sure you support those local business cats, you hear? Lots of work they put into what they do. Well, at some point, the kittens are going to have some of their own. <laughs> Dusty, what's up? Want to hang out today? You ever feel like you were meant to be friends with someone? Like, I can't explain it, but that's the way I feel around you. I know I've probably been mean to you on occasion, but that's just my way of making sure you're going to stick around. Thanks for being there for me, Dusty. Aw, well, no problem. We're glad to be a friend. Um, is... Lyris is over here. Okay, I thought maybe he would have gone back inside. Dusty, you are as reliable as the sun that sets you each night across the western skies. What can I do for you? Some say that the fog is an army of spirits passing through its old home. It does make everything look quite ghostly. That's a very creepy take on what fog is. <laughs> Hopefully it's not, because that's a little bit... That'd be disconcerting. And let's, let's say... Well, not quite... It's not quite... It's not goodbye for Dusty. He'll still be around, but we just won't see him. Dusty, I'm so glad you stopped by to see me. Shall we spend time together? I don't know how I got along without your friendship, Dusty. You're an inspiration. Aw, well, I'm glad you think so, Sarge. All right, let's head back, and we'll we'll send Autumn back to the den here. Oh, and the catnip has grown, <laughs> and we'll go ahead, and, uh, oh, we don't even have inventory space for it. Well, I, I feel like Dusty maybe, I feel like Dusty's kittens do help him in the garden sometimes, um, but we'll we'll leave that for now. I'm glad for all the exciting memories we've made. Me too, Overcast. I know it was a handful when I was younger, so thanks for raising me so well. I'll always love you, Dusty. Want to chat for a while, Dusty? Are you up for a quick scouting trip? I could use some exercise. Well, we just got back from one, so I'm going to interpret that as her thanking him for that. You always inspire me, Dusty. I was just thinking about you. Sometimes your adventures are the best material when it comes to writing poetry. Of course, I changed the names and locations to try and make it more original, but it's probably pretty obvious that your escapades inspire me a lot. I bet she'll be kind of in charge of chronicling his story for future generations. I can see her when she herself is retired, passing it on to the, the little kittens and telling stories of what her dad used to do. Aw, it's just, it's a really sweet thought. Great to see you. I like how I look a bit like you, Dusty. Well, that you do. You We have the same eyes. I don't know how well you can see that with an eye patch and glowing, but we do have the same eyes. And Scout, let's, let's, let's share one last meal together, and I imagine the kittens will share it too, even though we're directly giving it to Scout. And let's chat as well. I love you, Dusty. What do you think we should have for dinner? Personally, I'm thinking squirrel sounds pretty good. <laughs> Aww. All right, well, one last thing we'll do is we'll bring this blue jay over and you know what you know what I don't well actually this what does this do what does this do ah, ah, ah let me see let me actually see hmm I'm not gonna do that because we won't be able to see it indoors we'll leave that here what does this do we're we're, ge we're gonna use the bubble wand <laughs> because I feel like that that is a wonderful last image dusty in a pirate hat and an eye patch using a bubble wand. Look at him! <laughs> He's blowing bubbles. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a great way to end. And unfortunately, this is where we have to end. This is where Sto Dusty's story is going to draw to a close. And don't worry, you guys. He's, he'll still be around. It's not like he's gonna die or anything. I mean, we all die someday, but he's just settling down and retiring. And for now, he's just going to live out the rest of his life in peace and uh, get to take it a little bit easier now that he's getting older. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing journey. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I hope you guys are looking forward to starting the next one with me, as we'll be doing tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. 
I hope you've enjoyed this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out. Thank you.